Hey everybody, I am Carissa Wright, broker at the Coastal Legacy Realty Group here in the South Bay in Palos Verdes. And if you are curious about what is happening at a local level in terms of the real estate market and the economy, then this video is for you. I know that there have been a ton of crazy headlines, a lot of scare tactics in my opinion happening. So in this video, I am going to break down four market indicators that I have been following so that you can have a better idea of what's actually happening on a local level. So before we start, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Every week I am sending out new videos talking about the South Bay, Palos Verdes, and the real estate market. So hit the bell if you want notifications to find out new videos first. And let's go ahead and dive in. So if you've watched my other videos, you know the same four topics are going to be covered. And I am discussing today the South Bay Beach cities. So El Segundo, Hermosa Beach, Manhattan Beach, Redondo Beach. And we are looking at condos, townhouses, and single family homes. If any of these are not specific enough for you, if you have specific questions about your real estate goals, the type of home you live in, or just anything happening here on the South Bay um, real estate market, then please feel free to reach out. I have my contact info linked below, and you can always shoot me a text on my cell phone, 310-905-5774. But let's go ahead and dive in. And our first market indicator is going to be median sales price. So for the month of August, the median sales price in the South Bay was 1.650. So 1,605,000. Um, and this is slightly down from July, where the median sales price was $1,750,000. What was really interesting, though, is I looked back at the entire year, and the high this year was $1.9 So we are slightly down, but not crazy grossly down. And I will be very interested to see what happens next month with this number. I, I'm going to put some money on the line here and say there's a chance it goes up. Second indicator is average days on market. So how long from the time the home is listed until it goes under contract and into escrow? And the month of August was 23, which was slightly higher than the month of July, which was 18. And the low this year was 11 days on market. So homes are definitely sitting a little bit longer, but we would still say 23 days isn't very long when you look at the history of real estate. Third indicator is list price to final sales price. And for the month of August, this was really interesting. And yes, I love the word interesting. So August, average list price was $1,935,000, okay? And the final sales price average was $1,650,000. So 15% lower than list price. What was fascinating about this is July was actually one-to-one. -one. So list price and sales price were the same, but there were two things that happened. The list price in August was higher than it was in July. And then the sales price, the final price was actually a little bit lower. So a couple of things happened. And again, this will be one that we're going to want to follow into next month. We're moving into September, you know, fall, it, Numbers kind of tend to slow down a little bit, but we'll see what happens. And the fourth thing is current inventory. And this just gives us an idea of where demand technically should be at based off in, um, uh, current inventory, right? So for the month of August, 310 homes on the market, way down from July, which was 363. I think that this is a really very interesting and kind of big issue that we're seeing right now is there still isn't enough inventory to go around. So when you're hearing these articles about foreclosures, this, that, and the other, my research as well as these numbers here in the South Bay, we could easily absorb some foreclosures. So I don't think there's a real fear of possibility of that happening. Um, so let's just break this down and summarize. Overall, prices are staying, you know, they're going slightly down, but not crazy. Still holding on to a good number, I would say. We'll keep watching that. Uh, days on market is increasing, so buyers are moving a little bit slower. If you're a seller, I would say just anticipate the fact that you're not going to have multiple offers within a couple days, most likely. It's possible, but not most likely. And the other thing is you're really going to want to look at comps from the last 30 to 60 days. You don't want to look at comps from prior to then. You really need to look at current comps in the market. 
and buyers, I think that there's a lot of great opportunities. Interest rates have gone up, but you're buying the home. You can always refi your interest rate. And so if there's some deals happening, if you're able to get a home for below list price and the numbers are correct, the comps make sense, then this might be a really great opportunity for you to get into the market. I would say don't let the interest rate scare you. Make sure you can afford the home that you're buying, but I would say, you know, it's still a really great time to get into the market. So this is my August South Bay market update, and I will be releasing September's um, just in a couple weeks when we get into October and we have the, the numbers, the stats from um, September. So again, my contact info is linked below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. My cell phone is 310-905-5774. Happy to just be a resource and answer any questions that you have. And again, please hit subscribe. And I look forward to going through the September numbers with you in just a couple of weeks. Thanks for checking out my video.